Um, today I'm going to teach you guys how to use the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. It is a very very simple thing to do and how to create a cool logo like this one using the pen tool. And it's, um, there's nothing complicated, uh, it's just something every beginner can do only if you just know how to apply certain tricks on Adobe Illustrator using the pen tool. So I've created, I made this artboard so I can replicate this design I did here over here. I'm going to create it step by step so that you see what I did to achieve this particular design. So if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button and drop a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you think about this video. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial in general. So first thing off, I'm going to be um, going to this two section right here and selecting the pen tool. You can hit P on your keyboard for the shortcut of the pen tool. So first off, I'm just going to create a node right here, hit another one right here, hit another one right here, hit another one right here. Bring this one down somewhere around this corner. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't. I, I actually don't want to use the ruler, so I just do this on freehand, so I oh, everybody can just follow up and do the same thing. Click another one right here. Close it up right here. Make sure you close it up right here. This uh, O sign this is zero showing beneath the cursor. Have to be there, so you close it up. So after closing it up, I think this is cool like this. So we can use our selection tool to uh, direct selection tool to quickly adjust some areas we're not comfortable with. Just click it on the node and just move it. Um, this area, I think this is cool. I think I'm okay with this. So that's how to use the pen tool. So I'm just going to be filling this out um, with some gradient color and make this look cool just like this one so i'm going to go to this two section right here to apply color um this gradient color i'm just gonna apply my color right here so first off i'm just gonna fill this to be black go to this gradient section right here. click on gradient put the gradient right here since this effect is already here since i selected this one uh you can add you can add nodes to this, you can add color to this grid. I'm going to be doing a tutorial separately on how to use the gradient tool on Adobe Illustrator so you can be familiar with it and how to use it to create cool stuff like this. Since it's already here, I'm just going to use the same effect uh, and apply it right here. I think I'm cool with this. Um, my, for my strokes, I'm going to use 70% uh, 70 black. Put this on 3 points so to have that feel. Or I can just reduce it to like 60% black. All right, then I'm gonna put in the background. Come to this two section right here, click the rectangle tool. Just draw a quick box right here. I'm just gonna fill it with a particular color. I like gray a lot. So I'm just gonna page this down. Page down. Just come to this gradient section right here. Click on it. Got this effect up. Come to this section right here. Select it. I'm going to delete all these nodes. Double click here to bring the color palette out. I want something to be reddish. I like something around this color. It's fine by me. I'm going to make this one dark. So I'm going to change this type to radial. And I'm going to invert it. Then close this. I'm going to rotate this. Stretch it. The uh, first stretching that I need to rotate. Take this, take it up a little bit, take it up, take it up, take it up, up, then stretch this. This is cool. Then I'm gonna apply a little shadow on this my shape. I'm gonna apply a little shadow on this my logo I created right here. Come to the effects section, stylize, drop shadow. Make sure this preview box is thick so you can see what you're doing. And I think this is cool by me. And okay, that's all. So guys, we've come to the end of this tutorial. If I want to, I can put a title just like this beneath here and I'll be done. So if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing cool stuff like this every time. And let me know what you think about this video. Just drop your comment in the comment section down below. I'll really appreciate you. Just subscribe and just say, I have subscribed and I'll be so happy to have you here. So that'll be all for now. So guys, I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye for now.